right, another community day. I actually finished that fingerboard challenge, I guess, a full set, so I'm kind of doing it again, but I didn't spout any of the gold ceilings yet. Let's see if I got a complete set. There were actually changes for the decors, as you guys know. I tested it out just with the roadside ones, because I was missing apparently one of the white ones. And you can see, I guess, there's like a new animation, for example, now, when you actually get a complete set. So let's start the flowers and stuff first, huh? There's actually multiple community days too, so maybe I'll open the game later on like the Pokemon. I have a Hundo Aksu, so let's start this one first with opening the presents now, huh? While I walk. present and the first glitch. Where's this? You have to reset the game? Pizza set complete, and I think that bridge one glitched out. I don't know where that was location wise. I'll show you where it was actually later on once I open all these. That was it for the presents. I'll show you what the bridge one was supposed to be, this blue one. I don't know what that other one was. Okay, these should finish, I guess, by the time I complete my walk and all that. Let's try hatching some of the gold seedlings for the fingerboards. Complete! That wasn't too hard. I guess now while I'm walking to get my steps and waiting for the mushrooms, let me try to, I guess, get all those extra large candies for the axe. You can see how the Pokemon Go players, you just assume they are anyways, with everyone that's grouped up with their phones in their faces and so forth. I 
actually I should open that parrot out here. I know some of you have been actually sending those hatchet dart requests and so forth too. This should be simple enough. Lots of quests too, I guess, for the community days in this game too, huh? Since the Pokemon one runs out first time-wise, let's do that first, go back to the Pikmin, and then do this at the end. Game, I guess. All in one go. Okay, back to the peaceful game. I definitely walked way more than necessary for the badge. Let's see if the mushroom's finished actually. another full round of the wheel how's everyone been doing with these challenges I know for myself I guess it's been fortunate since I've been playing in day one remember when I saved up my coins and I started to upgrade things for example like the pedals at first I think that's the way to go because I find myself having a lot of different types of pedals versus the new ones where you'd have to for example attack the bigger mushrooms to get but I think that's the way to go if you're trying to maximize I guess your ability to play this game in a relaxing way you have to learn to I guess store up all the pedals and in terms of the wheel spinning did anyone else for example get these options that surprised me where at one point all of the options in terms of the prizes were all gold seedlings it made me wonder did everybody get this or is this completely random at the same time I've been getting a lot of different items too for example detectors and all that so that was kind of cool in my opinion so at first, let's just see what I'll get from these wheels. You're seeing it as it is. It is completely random too. I know some people are wondering when do I click it to get the prize that they want. It's completely random where that's more of a visual, I guess, cue. There you have it. I don't know. In my opinion, I've been lucky for whatever reason, but I find that you get these a lot. But fortunately, I finished it already anyways. What I found too during these times when I got, for example, some detectors from the prize, they actually stack up where if you use your free one for the day, that free one that you get the next day will actually stack up from the bonus ones that you get too. So that's kind of useful. At first I thought maybe, oh no, I gotta spend it all because the game will just see it as if you have more than one that you won't get another one. 
which happens if you actually don't spend your free one. But yeah, in this case, it does stack up with any extra ones you get, or I would imagine the ones you buy from the shop too, if you wish. These things distract me from my walk. I guess let's complete this community day for this game here, the Paradot, next to this, what, Heron? Somebody save a dot, I guess, for when I level this thing up. I guess that would be the right time to start hatching the dots afterwards since the nests are limited and all that. Pikmin 4 is coming out soon too. I might be able to do something for that as well. I'll be playing it on day one. And as well too, how's everyone doing on the East Coast? I've been reading about all those wildfire smoke and stuff like that where some people aren't able to get out to walk. I've been trying to help some people where it seemed like they needed help just to finish the challenges and so forth. And as well, I heard some of you were stuck at home too, which is a little unfortunate. I think it cleared up now, but I'm just wondering if anyone's stuck at home and so forth. I know I have some older videos of things, for example, like those Pokemon Symphony concerts and so forth. So if some of you are stuck at home, just let me know and I can upload something like that for fun. With that decor and venery change, how about I scroll down so you can see what I got and what I'm missing now. Yeah, this one, there were so many of them. This will come back eventually too. Let's do some Pikmin storage upgrade, preparing for all those donuts and stuff. That should be good for the time being, huh? And I guess that's about it for the community day. 